friends. Today I would like to talk about computational linguistics. If you are new here, then hi and welcome. My name is Nastya. I am a software engineer who has a major in linguistics. If you are curious to know how and why I decided to major in linguistics, you should probably watch my previous video. The link will be in the description. In this video, though, I wanted to share my story of unintentionally becoming a computational linguist for a year and to discuss the opportunities that exist in computational linguistics. If you like videos about tech, languages, career, and life, then you should definitely subscribe and hit the like button. And now let's get started. First, what is computational linguistics? It's a combination of two fields, linguistics and computing. Linguistics is the scientific study of natural languages and computing is the use or operation of a computer. Why would we want to combine those two fields? For instance, to produce a computer simulation of a natural language such as French, English, Ukrainian, Russian, and many more. To perform a certain task. For instance, to translate a sentence from one language to another, or maybe to create an audio for text, or even analyze text for taking it as appropriate or not appropriate. It wasn't my intention to become a computational linguist. I didn't really know much about the field. Right after I majored in linguistics, I moved to the US and I started working as a part-time web developer and I was looking for developers' opportunities. And that's when a recruiter on LinkedIn approached me with a job description for a computational linguist working on a Siri TTS team. The description was quite curious and I decided to try. So I started preparing for the interviews. I had to brush up on so many things, linguistics and also phonetics, and it all went well. You know, the process wasn't that bad overall. It wasn't that hard, but it was quite lengthy in time. So I had enough time to prepare for each call and eventually I got the offer and I accepted the offer and I joined Siri TTS team as a computational TTS linguist and also web developer. So I was improving the quality of Russian voices and also building internal web tools for the team. I can't go into details and discuss my responsibilities and tasks that I had to perform, unfortunately, but we can definitely discuss it all in the broader terms and also to discuss things that are available online on the internet. TTS stands for text-to-speech. It's all about converting text into natural-sounding, synthesized speech using a set of AI and machine learning technologies. The other term for this is speech synthesizer. As a TTS linguist, your main KPI would probably be the quality of the speech you are synthesizing. So let's say if you are working on Alexa voices, the quality of that voice is your responsibility. And the quality can be determined by so many linguistics factors like the correct stress, correct phonemes, the correct use of homographs, and also how natural the voice sounds. If you are really curious about TTS systems, I highly encourage you to check out Wikipedia article about speech synthesizers. The link will be in the description. Besides TTS, a computational linguist can also work on ASR side. ASR stands for Automatic Speech Recognition. Its goal, on the contrary, is to convert pronounced speech into text. There is also natural language understanding or processing. So there are many things you can be doing as a computational linguist. It all depends on your role and on your team. The ratio between technical and linguistic skills varies. So it all depends on your role and on the team you're working on. While many, maybe most, computational linguists are not trained to build machine learning models and algorithms, they still need to work with them or with other technical tools like Git, GitHub or Bitbucket, uh, terminal commands, Python scripting, Python regex. While you need to specialize in linguistics, you do need to have some technical knowledge and background related to programming and machine learning. And now a little bit more about the skills that helped me get the job. First of all, linguistics. I majored in linguistics, as I said, and I take a huge interest in 
phonetics. I had a lot of experience transcribing texts uh, at university and also for my other YouTube channel about French pronunciation. I did study linguistics in French and through French, but the role was about Russian phonetics, so I had to learn a lot of things while preparing for my interviews. Second is my Python experience. I mostly used Python for a web development project, so I did have a couple of projects on my resume, but they were mostly about Django, Flask frameworks for web development, but not Python for data processing. So as a linguist, you probably don't need to know Django or any other web development oriented frameworks, but rather you need to be familiar with how to use Python and Python scripts to automate your work as a linguist. My web development experience was also something valuable to the team. They were happy to find someone who could also help with internal tools. So I was also happy to apply my React knowledge when building internal tools for myself and for other computational linguists on the team. And of course, curiosity towards the product. I was very curious to learn how exactly Siri works and how we can improve the voices, what it is like to actually be working as a Siri computational linguist. All the interviews that I had for this role were kind of around those skills and what I particularly liked that my interviews were very practice oriented. So I did have linguistic interviews and technical calls and things that I was asked about in those interviews turned out to be important things on the role too. For instance, I had regex questions and challenges, and that was something I had to use a lot. Or also linguistics questions were oriented around the role and particular things that I definitely need to know to be able to do this job. I'm not sure if this is every computational linguist experience, if you are a computational linguist or know someone uh, who also had the experience of interviewing for a computational linguist role, feel free to share down in the comments what it is like to pass a computational linguist interview. I did become a computational linguist unintentionally, but I still sometimes get asked how do people become computational linguists? And I think one sure way is to study computational linguistics at school. Though sometimes some companies might be accepting people with other backgrounds, for instance, computer science, machine learning, data science, or just linguistics. I majored in linguistics and had hands-on experience with programming, and it turned out just fine for me. I haven't heard about a lot of self-taught computational linguists. I'd say I've never heard about them. It seems to me that this field is quite demanding in terms of formal education. The higher, the better. But I would be happy to be wrong on this one. If you know someone who is a self-taught computational linguist, share with us in the comments down below. But even if you go to study computational linguistics at school, it doesn't mean they will teach you all. First, I'm not sure if they teach you practical skills, like how to use GitHub, Bitbucket, and Terminal, but also technology change. It is possible that you'll have to learn a lot of things on the go and to be able to enjoy this process, you really need to be open-minded and to be ready to become a lifelong learner. How much does a computational linguist make? Well, in different countries, an average salary is going to be different. Uh, in the US, on average, a computational linguist makes $88,000 per year. Uh, but also, I think it varies depending on the state. Is California is definitely more expensive than, let's say, Texas, so here you might be able to earn more. It depends. But also, it's quite often for linguists to work as contractors for big companies, and this means they earn money hourly, and an average hourly rate is around 40, 50, or 60 dollars. 
Even if I am no longer a computational linguist, I do think there are so many interesting things within this field. There are so many things you can be doing, so many ways to contribute. You can be building Siri voices, improving Google Assistant, maybe improving Twitter algorithms because they do need to tag tweets as appropriate and inappropriate and maybe they are using some language models to do so. Or you can be building products like Grammarly and help people to write better in different languages. There are also so many big companies that are now hiring computational linguistics and I bet Apple or Google or Advanced Global are going to look good on your resume even if you decide not to stick with them. That's it for today guys. I hope this video is helpful to some of you if you are thinking about becoming a computational linguist or you are already majoring in computational linguistics and you would like to learn more about uh, the career within this field. Anyways, if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it and subscribe to my channel for more. I will see you in my next one. Thank you guys. Au revoir.